Hello guys, welcome back to CJ Made Simple. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create channel packing in Substance Painter. First of all, what is channel packing? This is a method that increases your performance because um, here is the Unity manual showing one example for channel packing uh, for mask map, creating a mask map, meaning that you combine few maps into one single map, which leads to counting, calculating only one single texture for your game and this is going to increase your performance and give you more detail with less resources, so to say. It's a quite common workflow for a lot of games and products, like you have channel packing in Unity, you have the same one in for Unreal, but now I'll show you how to do it uh, by using Substance 3D Painter. Let's jump into it. By the way, if you would like to have this model of the chair, we have it on our Patreon page. It's unwrapped and ready to use. Um, it's been made and unwrapped in 3ds Max, so you can have it and you can support us on Patreon. So let's jump into the video. It's pretty easy to create channel packing in Adobe Substance. Go to File, Export Textures here and go to the output template. I've created myself a preset for the textures, but you can use uh, some of the predefined over here. In order to do it, I will create another output map. I'll choose this one, R plus G plus B plus A. Uh, this stands for RGB and A is for alpha. This creates a new layer and all of the channels are split over here for every single channel, I have a slot. And now you can go and drag the maps from the input maps or the mesh map to the channels in order to create the desired package. For instance, for Unity, if you need to create mask map, you can use the metallic map and drag it to the R, to the red one, go for gray channel, the ambient occlusion, to the green one, gray channel again, choose. The height map, I will use it for the blue channel and for the alpha, I will use the glossiness again is a gray channel. Here is the time to mention that if you have the roughness, it's inverted glossiness, so you can just invert it in Photoshop and add it to the channel via Photoshop if missing. And the last thing I would need to do is I'll go ahead and rename my layer over here. I would like to keep things organized. I'll call it, call it mask. Go to the list of exports and it's, it's over here, export it, it's successful and you can go and admire your handiwork. This is how this, this packed channel for this case looks like. It's ready to be used in Unity for instance or the software that you need. If you liked anything from this video, if you have oh. any suggestions, please write them below in the comments. If you like anything, hit the like button and consider to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.